All right, this lesson is about Newton's laws. Now, Newton's laws govern what we typically call the, their laws of motion. They are the, the, the motivation behind a lot of Newton's work is with motion. And uh, the first law is typically called the law of inertia. And it states that objects in motion stay in motion unless an external force is applied. So that's a mouthful. What does that really mean? Well, it basically says how something is moving. You know, remember, we talked in an earlier lesson about what motion is, one-dimensional, two-dimensional. The, the characteristic of motion is you know, distance, velocity, acceleration. Here, we're really talking about velocity. So an object in motion, velocity, that stays in motion, OK, unless an external force is applied. Now, an external force is something acting on it from the outside. So that, that right now, you don't have to get into that definition too much. But just think of something acting on it from the outside. So does this make sense? I mean, in the real world, do we see this? Well, if an object's at rest, you know, if I hold something in the palm of my hand, it doesn't move. And I'm not really doing anything to the marker or whatever is in my hand. So that, that makes sense for something that's at rest. You know, it's not moving. There's no velocity unless, you know, we put a force on it. But sometimes we think, you know, well, if I, say, were to kick a soccer ball, I, I put a force on it at first, and it moves, but then it slowly rolls to a stop. And that would, that would kind of seem to contradict this, to say that, well, it didn't really stay in motion, but I, I was no longer applying a force to it. So that's kind of confusing. But, but really, we're not taking into account in that example, the other forces, which is gravity and friction.